Uh, hi. Okay, so I'm actually recording this portion of the video after I recorded the full video you're about to watch um, because I didn't know how else to warn for this. I know not everybody reads the descriptions to the videos, especially 20 videos into a playlist or however many I have right now. Uh, so I'm just going to add as a content note for this this case, this case number three for the second game, um, that suddenly it takes a sharp left turn into um, adult men being um, sexually attracted to a underage girl. Um, and I didn't know how else to warn for that. So um, this is kind of a trigger warning for the episode. Uh, it kind of came as a shock to me. It was suddenly like all of a sudden, oh, wow, that's in my Whimsical Phoenix Wright game. So I wanted to let you guys know um, if, 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 uh, if you want to keep watching, then then keep watching. Of course, obviously, if that's a hard no for you, then then this is your trigger warning to kind of nope out. Um, it's my understanding that that will continue for the rest of this case, this case number three. So um, if that is a hard no for you, then um, I would just suggest not watching any of the case three videos and going on to, uh, I assume there's a case four. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to warn for that first, and now I'm going to stop this warning and we'll segue into the actual video that I just finished recording. Uh, thank you so much, and have a nice day. Bye-bye. Uh, Hello, everyone. My name is Anna Mardal. Welcome to another Let's Play of Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. I am actually home uh, sick from work today. Um, Although that won't be true by the time I post this, so I'll be all better, I'm sure. Um, but I thought it might be as good a time as any to get started on <coughs> another Ace Attorney episode. I've actually noticed something interesting with Ace Attorney, and it's that with the exception of rise from the ashes which i think i've i've made enough of a point about not liking that i don't need to continue to labor that point but with the exception of that one case um all of the cases have ended in such a satisfying way that i actually find it difficult to get back into the game which is actually kind of an interesting um uh, aspect of play. I'll, I'll end a case and I'll be like, oh, that was such a good, satisfying conclusion. And then it's almost like I have to sort of take a couple of days to before I can psych myself up to playing the next episode because I'm kind of afraid of what will happen to make the characters unhappy again. It's like, oh, but the, they're so they're so happy now. I don't want to hurt them. <laughs> um. I'm sure I've experienced that in other games before. Um, I know that I've felt that way with books before, so I'm I'm familiar with that feeling. But it's it's kind of interesting or unusual to feel it in uh, in a game, uh, possibly because most of the games I play don't have these episodic stopping points the way uh, book series is and TV does. So that might be it. But anyway, so today we're going to get into episode three, Turnabout Big Top, and I honestly hope that Francisca um, doesn't get murder despite being the picture for this um that would make me sad yes yeah i don't want her to get murdered no no do not kill Francisca. um she's she's not a good character but i find her an interesting compelling character who brings a lot to the table in terms of um being an interesting prosecutor so so let's all cross our fingers and hope i am genuinely concerned oh yes i do want to say Incredibly lucky that the computer hasn't restarted itself in the past couple of days. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the show. Prepare to witness a man who has mastered the wonder of flight.
And no shirt, apparently. The world's greatest magician! The one! The only! Maximilian Galactica! Uh... Yeah, looks like he's flying. That's pretty impressive. And suddenly he disappeared and his hat and cloak fell to the ground. Pearl! Well, that was like being in a dream. I'm super excited that we're taking Pearl to, to new and exciting things outside of her village. I haven't even caught my breath yet! <laughs> that was amazing! Wasn't it, Pearly? It was great! There was a dancing bear, and a tiger that jumped through a ring of fire, an elephant that rode a giant ball, not to mention that guy who flew through the air! Yeah! Max Galactica! He was absolutely fabulous! Huh? What? Max? Max Galactica, the world's greatest magician! A magician? No, a magician! Oh, I guess he said a magician. Mr. Nick? What is it, Pearls? Does magic have anything to do with channeling spirits? I don't think it has anything to do with channeling. You don't know about magic, do you, Pearls? I'm sorry. So I guess we've adopted pearls. I braved the winter cold and took pearls to see the circus. It's been six months since that terrible incident in Kyrian Village, and it was during that trying time that I met pearls. Thankfully, she seems to be recovering from it and is returning to her normal self. Ah, <clears throat> uh, it's time to go! You're right, we can't miss the last train. Pearls, you remembered the train. Of course I did. But I don't really understand what everyone means by express train. Well, Nick, see you later. I'll come by to help clean the office. It's got to be spotless for the new year. Don't worry about it, really. You are going to visit Mr. Nick on New Year's? Maybe. I am glad you will get to spend your New Year's with your special someone. Oh, she's still on that. Pearly! Look, it's time to go! Happy New Year, Mr. Nick! Happy New Year. I really hope it will turn out that way. Well, today wraps it up for this year. I hope I can finish cleaning this place up in one day. Hello? This is Wright and Co. Law Offices. Nick, it's terrible! Ah, oh, Maya. Perfect timing? Things are terrible here, too. <laughs> huh? The office is a terrible mess, and I have to clean it up. What are you talking about? My, my dirty office. What, what are you talking about? Listen, Nick, you have to turn on the TV. The TV? Now let's check in at the scene! Huh? What happened? Thank you. We're here at the Berry Big Circus. The Berry Big Circus has become the center of a sensational murder. This scene has created quite a stir among the throngs of excited onlookers. The very, I mean, the Berry Big Circus. 
That's the circus we went to, Nick, right? They're saying there was a murder? Yeah, they arrested him too. Arrested who? Max! They arrested Max Galactica! The prettiest man on earth. A popular magician who can fly through the sky at will. Maya said she was a huge fan of Max. Just already he makes me think of, um... Oh! What was the name of the... The, the, the robot in Undertale! I can't think of him now! Metaton! He makes me think of Metaton! <laughs> Like, <laughs> like, like Metaton's pretty form. I, I'm not wrong. You see it too, right? They had, you know, boots and just the hair and, okay, maybe it's just me. All right, Nick, I'll see you in two hours at the detention center. Huh, what? See you there. You've still got plenty of time to clean up your office later! What? I mean... We need clients, so I'm not sure why he's acting so... So the hotel outside is now a high-class luxury hotel. Until recently, it had been a normal business class hotel. Charlie, a decorative plant. I wouldn't mind his help cleaning this place up. Maya went out and bought it right away. She's a sucker for all things steel samurai. Difficult looking legal books stand in a formidable row. They mock me. I wouldn't mind dumping some of these off at the used bookstore, but that might not be such a good idea. My desk, since I don't have time to sit, it's unusually clean. Honey, first of all, hire a cleaning service. Second of all, get some clients. Learn your books. What are they talking about? Why did they arrest Max? You're asking the wrong man on that one, Maya. Maybe he uses magical skills to deal death with a sleight of hand. Maximilian Galactica would never do such a thing. Fabulous. What young lady, what the young lady just said was absolutely fabulous. Oh, I like him already. What a clever girl. Such a fabulous understanding of events. What's with all this fabulous talk? I love him. I'd die for him. Welcome to the visitor's room. It's Max. Nick, look, it's the real Maximilian Galactica. All right, sweetie. Pick a card. Any card. No, <laughs> time's running out, sweetie. Pick a card, any card. This one. Uh-huh. I thought you would pick that one, sweetie. The Ace of Hearts. <gasps> he got it! He got it! Nick, look, he got it! What can I say, sweetie? You've stolen one of my most valued possessions. One of Maximilian Galactica's hearts. Max! Well, time to make this an absolutely fabulous time. Max, you should let Nick pick a card. Ah, uh, I don't want to steal one of his hearts. <laughs> I've got enough of my own to deal with. And you are? Oh, how silly of me. You must be Sweetie's driver. Her driver? Whatever. Hurry up and pick a card. Any card. Um... This one. So, sweetie, let's be honest here. You came to this visitor's room to visit me, didn't you? Yes! I'm your biggest fan! Fabulous! Absolutely fabulous! Thank you so much! Hey, uh, what about my card? Think of it as a souvenir! Well, Nick, I think it's time to get to work! What's the matter, Nick? Why are you looking at the ceiling? I was just thinking about what I should have for lunch. Sweetie, drop Porcupine Head over there. 
shower me with your attention, okay? <laughs> oh, yes! Absolutely fabulous! Absolutely cringe inducing! Oh, Phoenix, lighten up! What does it say about the guard? He's so quiet you could forget he was even there. Max keeps sneaking glances up at the security camera. I wonder if he's still trying to be a star. Max, I was hoping you could tell me a little bit more about yourself. Fabulous! I think we should get to know each other better too. Why don't you come sit next to me? Um, there's a big piece of security glass between us. Oh, sweet Jeebus. What in the world? If only I could use magic, then I could make this wall disappear. What is this guy talking about? Anyways, lately you've become awfully famous, haven't you, Max? That's Max a million, million to you, porcupine head. Get it straight. People nowadays. Anyway, Maximilian, you won a very prestigious award recently, did you not? I did indeed! It was fabulous! I won the Magician's Grand Prix held by the Association of International Magicians. It's an award that recognizes that I am the most fabuloso of fabulous world magicians. There was a trophy and a bust. It was a fab. I mean, it was an amazing day. Wow, that's incredible! Isn't it? I'm certifiably the greatest magician in the world. I'm going to guess he didn't win a trophy for most modest magician. You are signed to an exclusive contract with the Very Big Circus, correct? That's the long and short of it. You sure do your research, sweetie. I'm impressed. You just can't watch a magician on TV, you know. Magic is so fabulous, you have to see it with your own eyes, sweetie. You're right. You're so right. However, the circus, it's a dinosaur. A thing of the past. Nowadays, no one even cares about what goes on in there. Huh? What do you mean? Well, that's why I signed the contract. That's why you signed the contract? Thanks to me, the very big circus is fabulously popular. People come out in droves to catch a glimpse of the magic of Max Galactica. I revived the dinosaur that is the circus. But to me, it was just another magic trick. Isn't it wonderful, sweetie? Yes. I made all the old crusty circus performances obsolete. But I kind of liked the circus performances. Maya looks a bit down. So tell me what happened at the very big circus. Ah, uh, last night. The ringmaster was murdered. The ringmaster? You mean Russell Berry? Someone smashed him over the head, I hear. He was slumped over on the ground. Even though it was the middle of the night, the police presence was fabulous. The police questioned me at length. Questioned you about what? About everything. I was the last one to see the ringmaster before he was murdered. I saw him last evening in his room. So then why were you arrested? Arrested? Don't make an anthill into a mountain, sweetie. They just wanted to consult with me on matters, that's all. Nick, I don't think Max understands how serious this is. I think I should shock him back into reality. Before the murder, you met with the ringmaster? Uh-huh. What did you talk about? Things that aren't for your ears. Maya, would you please ask him? What did you talk about with the ringmaster, Max? It was nothing. Small talk, really. We were just having a chat about my salary. Salary? I am the one bringing in the crowds. I think that I should be compensated as such. You agree, don't you? Yes. That's... <laughs> that's all you talked about? Of course! It was a fabulous chat! Oh! Oh, we still have the Magatama power! Oh, yay! Just fabulous. I mean, ah, now he's got me saying it. What's the matter, Nick? You look all bent out of shape. 
so I have a badge. What is that badge? Is it used in a disappearing act? I'm not a magician, Max. I'm an attorney. An attorney? Then why are you wasting your time talking to me? He isn't wasting his time! Max, you're... Okay, okay. Relax, sweetie. You're just a little over-anxious, I think. Mm. Anyways, I've been curious about something for a while now. What's that? Why do you keep looking at me with such a sad look on your face, sweetie? Because you've been arrested for murder. Oh, don't be ignorant. They wouldn't arrest someone like me. Why is that? Obviously, because I'm the fabulous Maximilian Galactica. So? I'm the very big star of the very big circus. And that means I'm rich. I'm paid fabulous sums. Which means what? Max, you're quite joking around. You've got to be pulling my magic wand. The police aren't really serious about all this, are they? They don't arrest people as a joke. Look at Max, he's crushed. Well, he needed to wake up and smell the coffee. This is serious business. Ugh. Ugh. Yes? Poor keep I mean... Sir, you're a lawyer, right? Huh? Yes, I'm an attorney. Please, help me! I didn't kill nobody! A baby. Didn't kill nobody? I may be more spoiled than a hog in a hamburger mud pit, but a killer? That's insane! I... I could never! Max? I swear! I just wanted to pay off my daddy's debt. He's back on the farm! Okay, okay. I'll take your case. Really? Really? Thank you very much. Y'all sure are nice folks. His accent's uh, asserting itself. Max! Yes? What's your real name? It's, uh, Billy Bob Johns. What's the matter, Maya? He's really just a country bumpkin? Maya, that's what people would think about you, sweetheart. I must apologize for not being my absolutely fabulous self just now, sweetie. Huh? Mr. Attorney. Yes. A few minutes ago, you took one of my cards, didn't you? Uh, now that he mentions it, I, I did take a card. It was the Ten of Hearts, right? Well, he got it right again. What can I say? You two. You've stolen some of my most valuable possessions. Ten of Maximilian Galactica's hearts. You sure do have a lot of hearts, don't you? <laughs> I'm putting my faith in you, sweetie. He didn't just call me sweetie, did he? Yes, he did. All right, let's make this an absolutely fabulous case. Come on, Nick. <laughs> I love him. Oh, I completely understand wanting to leave home and remake yourself. Do you mind taking a look at this? I guess I have no choice, but really, is this the proper time or place? He signed his own photo. Nick, you mind giving that to me when this case is over? Okay, so he's not gonna tell us anything about himself. And we have a, a soul lock, but we don't have anything to show him, so I guess we'll go back to... Oh, wait. Shit. Sorry. I didn't notice the circus. Alright. We've got lots of things we have to look into. No time for slacking. Let's get going. Okay. What's the matter? You seem down. Maximilian Galactica! 
Who would have guessed he was a country bumpkin? Really, Maya? This does not mean you don't want his picture. What's the matter? You've been acting strange for a while now. Max, he's just some country bumpkin. So? Why does that matter? He's still a famous magi mu magician, right? I guess. But his real name is Billy Bob Johns. The poor guy's got three first names. I guess that is pretty odd. Oh well, if a big star can do it, then you should pretend to be exotic too, Nick. A big star? Max Galactica is a pretty big name. Anyways, what do you think about Naruhodo e Raito? N what's the A stand for? The A stands for attorney! I'll think about it. And apparently that unlocked an achievement? <laughs> okay. I've been wanting to ask her about the Nagatama. This is kind of pointless, don't you think? If it's that pointless, then you don't have to worry about showing it to me. Okay, I guess we can't ask her about the Magatama. What do we do? Huh? There's still lots of things we can do. Go to the scene of the crime, talk to witnesses, gather evidence. I guess you're right. We don't have enough information to make a case yet. We never have enough information. Okay. There we go. We're here again. Yup. This time we were here for work. It hasn't been that long since the crime, so the police are still on the scene. Let's find someone who might know something about what happened. Sounds like a plan. The berry big top is so very b enormous. Yep, one look at the huge tent looming over you and you realize, this is the circus! I know! It really gets your blood pumping, doesn't it? It's a snack stand. They have hot dogs, hamburgers, and drinks. Not to mention, candy and popcorn! They've even got snow cones! Who eats snow cones in the middle of winter? Nick, do you think we can buy some snow cones? Look around! There's tons of snow piled up all around here! Yay! Wait a second, there's no syrup, though. I want syrup. Hopefully she doesn't notice the discolored snow in the corner, because that's not syrup. Ew. Thank you so much. Those streamers do a nice job, including the circus performers. Maximilian Galactica and his comical comrades! You know, you don't really see too many streamers nowadays, do you? You're right, I haven't seen one in ages. I bet they stopped using them due to little kids climbing up to the top. I don't know what that was all about. The door must lead to the lodging house. No entry to unauthorized personnel. Do you really need to say no entry if no one's actually entering? It's almost like a zen riddle, isn't it, Nick? I'm not going to justify that question with his response. I bet all the stars stay at that lodging house. This is the box office where they sell tickets for the circuits. They also sell programs. I forgot to buy one when we came to the circus last time. Why don't you buy one now? It sounds like a plan. Oh no, I forgot my wallet. If you want me to buy it for you, just ask me already. You know I'd never do that to you, Nick. Look, look, it's Max. Even when you don't want to see him, poof, he's right in front of you. Sure, the sign says Berry Big Circus, but looking around, it might as well be Cirque du Galactica. The stars on his cheeks sure are dreamy. How about I draw a star on your cheek, Nick? I've got a marker. No, it's all right. Nick, the entrance is right here. Maya, the circus is closed today. No clowns, no elephants, no shows. I know that! You can get your picture taken with Dolly the Elephant. There's no dolly. Not today. I know that too! Oh well, I'll just have to take a picture with whoever I stumble across. Alright, that seems to be everything. So...
We have lodging house pizza? Oh, plaza. <laughs> Hi, dyslexia. Big top, and that's it. So, um, let's try the lodging house first. This is the lodging house? Oh, it's the plaza. It seems to be a dorm where all the performers in the circus stay. Really? So we might run into that stoogy clown here, right? He's so kooky. Ah, it's you two. Oh, Detective Gumshoe. How is it you guys always seem to know when I'm working a crime scene, pal? Because you're always working, Detective. Well, I'd rather not be working, but with crime, you don't make your own hours. If I have to be at the circus anyway, I want to see the lion tamer and the tightrope. However, no matter where I go, the show is always the same. Dead body. Stage left. <laughs> Nick, he complained! <laughs> That's a rarity. Let's get back to business now, okay? I love him. There's some evidence under the tarp over there. Hey, watch it, pal! The killer's right behind that tarp! What?! <laughs> gotcha. I was just kidding. The snow is... This is the only place that the snow has been trounced upon. The murderer was sloppy leaving all these prints all over. No, no. We're the only ones who left prints. An investigation can be a messy thing sometimes. What? Now I also slipped and fell in that spot over there. The other detectives all got a good laugh when the prosecutor whipped me. Oh my god, it's her. Thank god there was all this snow around to bring down the swelling. It's great to know the police aren't worried about preserving evidence. Or about the prosecutor whipping them. This year, I finally won an air conditioner. What? You didn't have an air conditioner? Did you ride a Triceratops to work too? What do you mean you won an air conditioner? You didn't buy it? No, I can't afford one of those things. But I got lucky and won it as a door prize in the annual police Christmas party. They really pay you peanuts, don't they? Peanuts? I don't even get paid enough for peanut butter, let alone peanuts. Baby. The safety lights around the circus are kept on all night long. So they should have been on at the time of the murder. So you're saying the murder took place in the light? How strange. How strange indeed. Does Phoenix think that safety lights prevent bad things from happening? Do you know who will be the prosecutor in court tomorrow? Well, of course. It'll be Miss Von Carla. Oh, she isn't going to hit me with her whip again, is she? What, what do you have to worry about? You only have to see her in court. When she shows up at the precinct, the sound of that whip never ends, pal. Detective Gumshoe, I'm sure Miss Von Karma is really interesting and all, but there's someone else I'd rather talk about. Not you. Like Mr. Edward, of course. You know, Nick's rival, Miles Edward. What in the world happened after I went back home? M Mr. Edgeworth, you haven't heard what happened to him? Nick won't tell me! Well, to be honest, I'm not at liberty to tell you either. Let's just say he's not around anymore. He's not around? Nick, what does he mean Mr. Edgeworth isn't around? Exactly what he said. He's not around. Edgeworth is gone. Don't say his name again, okay? Okay, this is really cruel because Maya cared about him. She deserves some kind of explanation. Being told to just not say his name anymore is really unkind. Nick? The ringmaster of the circus was murdered, wasn't he? Yep, last night around 10 p.m. Oh, where's my notebook? I took it in the other room. How will I take notes? Well, I'll just have to manage. He died outside the cold. Pretty sad way to go if you ask me, pal. It was rather cold. This is the scene of the crime, pal. The body was found right over here. Right about where you're standing right now. Ah! <laughs> Surprised you, didn't I? I'm not laughing! Excuse me, but do you mind telling me what happened to the victim? He was killed by a blow to the knot, pal. 
It's pretty clear cut as far as murders go. He was discovered quickly. But, but, there's just one thing that doesn't quite fit. Ha! Huh, there always seems to be something that doesn't quite fit. What was this one thing that didn't quite fit? The thing you mentioned earlier. Footprints, pal! Footprints! Footprints? Look at this picture of the crime scene! What's this? This wooden box under the body. No clue, pal. Some forensics experts took it back and are examining it now. And what is so mysterious about the footprints? Whoa, calm down now. Take a good look at the footprints in this picture. The victim's footprints are on the scene. That's right, pal. The problem is... The killer's footprints aren't there! Bingo! Where did the killer come from? And where did the killer run off to? Yeah, obviously, there is no way the killer committed this crime while flying. A flying culprit. Don't tell me that's why they arrested Maximilian. That's when something clicked in my head. There's no way! Flying is impossible! That's right. Flying is impossible. What's wrong with the hell laugh, pal? I meant nothing by it, pal! Better state it. It means I don't want to talk about it. Maybe I can get some info about Max out of him. He looks like Max is the most unpopular guy in the circus tent. You know what they say, a bad attitude follows you everywhere. He's a bit arrogant, but he didn't seem bad. But just because someone has a bad attitude doesn't make them a criminal. It's not just his attitude, I've got proof, pal. Huh? He left something at the scene of the crime. One of his magician's trademarks. An incredibly well-made silk hat. Well, it does have very classy decorative elements. Made to order hat that is a symbol of Max's fabulousness. Max uses a cloak, silk hat, and white roses as his signature symbols. Pretty mundane, aren't they? Who cares if they're mundane? At least they're easy to understand. I must have hit a nerve. And that's what he said. Who said? The eyewitness. What? Tell us about the eyewitness. Yeah, I'm making a really strange, tired-looking face here. Are you sure you weren't born looking like that? Now I wish I was more lively. <clears throat> right now I'm just tired. Well, there's not much you can do about that, so you gotta just keep on being tired. You're right. You're going down this time, pal. Is that right? She's been practicing a thousand cracks a day. You don't mean cracks of the... Yep. Cracks of the whip. Everyone seems totally okay with that. Being a spirit medium is quite an accomplishment. And you're so young, too. That's really something. Actually, I've been thinking of taking a break from channeling. Really? I don't want to have another incident like last time. Nothing happened last time. So, about the eyewitness... You know I'm not going to tell you that. That's the prosecution's trump card. Yes, why should we be informed? Oh, well... Oh, I just remembered. I forgot to mention that you two are barred from entering that lodging house. Why is that? No, no reason. Just something I remembered to tell you. It must be because that's where the eyewitness is. Let's check it out. Don't you dare, pal. Oh my. Moe's room. I wonder whose room this is. It's Moe's room. It says so on the door. <laughs> the name tag on the door says Moe on it. And I guess he's not here. It's a real mess in here. My room's probably worse, though. Oh, well. I give up. We'll have to come back later. All those clown costumes lined up like that. I don't know about you, but it's creepy. Look at the collection he's got. It's incredible. 
It must be a collection of clown costumes from around the world. Oh, I almost forgot. What is it now? I was thinking of starting a costume collection myself. I'll call it World Spirit Channels. We can display it in our office. In our office? As soon as you start paying the bills, you can say that. <laughs> Moe's got an excellent pair of pajamas laid on his bed in an excellent manner. Those are pajamas? You mean he goes to bed dressed as a clown? Awesome! Look at these shoes! They're great! Okay, we're going to sweep through some of these quickly. Clowns for dummies. There's a hole in the ceiling. Look at the ceiling. It looks like someone punched a hole in it. That seems relevant. All of his equipment is broken and there's a hole in the ceiling. Do you think he used the stilts to come and go from the body? Hard to say. Hard to say. The circus stage sure doesn't look this small from out in the audience. Wow, this is where they all perform, isn't it? Nick, do some somersaults. I'm not doing any somersaults. Why not? You look like you'd be great at it. Why do I look like I'd be great at somersaults? Something's growling. Nick? It wasn't me. <gasps> Tiger! He's coming this way. Yeah! Nick! You're too young to die! Stay! Stay! Heal! Maybe it shouldn't be out of its cage. Throw that out there. I'm still here. I'm not dead yet. Nick! Are you okay? Haha! <laughs> scared you, didn't I? Hello? Regent is such a cute tiger, isn't he? What's the matter? You two sure are quiet. Don't what's the matter me? Nick almost died! Ah, uh -huh. he wasn't anywhere close to getting hurt, let alone dying. The little tiger hardly ever bites people. And besides, people normally never get to play with a wild tiger, right? So if you think about it, you're actually really lucky. Huh? You agree, don't you? I guess? What do you mean you guess? Why are you agreeing with her? Woohoo! Your costume! Huh? It's cute. I want to try it on. Costume? You mean my like clothes? You don't mind letting me try it on, right? Uh, I guess not. Really? You're the best. Wow, the tables turn quickly on that one. So much for the tiger thing. Oh, I forgot to introduce myself. I'm Regina Berry, the renowned animal tamer of the Berry Big Circus. My name is Maya Faye. I'm a spirit medium. Phoenix Wright, attorney at law. You put us up next to an animal tamer. I bet we look really odd. Nice to meet you. Uh, likewise. Let's quickly look around the room. The seats are kind of far away, don't you think? He's right. We can fit 500 people in a show. 500? That's amazing! Flying around above that many people is a real rush. At least, that's what Max said. There doesn't seem to be anything here that can help us. What exactly do you mean when you say clue? What are you looking for? A bloody chainsaw. There's definitely not one of those here. 
It's a rope. There weren't any tight rope walkers in the show when we saw it. A ladder. It's a step ladder. What's the difference? Why do we keep having this discussion? Why does anyone care? Look, that's where Max comes out during the show. We're planning for me to start coming out of the lion during the show. That's great, Regina. Yes, I will ride on Regent's back and jump out of the lion's mouth. I want to try it too. I'll ride on Nick's back and jump out of the lion's mouth. Whoa, those lights are huge. I love lights. Whenever I appear under the spotlight, everyone claps for me. That's because everyone knows you're cute. No, I'm not cute. You're cute. Of course, I'm sure you'd make an incredible heroine. You think so? Nick, did you hear that? A, a me, a heroine. What about Nick, Regina? He's no hero, is he? Oh, girls. Why don't y'all flirt with each other all you want, and I will just stay out of it. Hey, Regina. Is it Regina or Regina? I don't know. We'll go with Regina. Hey, Regina. What do you know about what happened last night? You mean the murder? Yeah. My dad was murdered. I... I see. What did she just say? The ringmaster was your... Yep, the ringmaster was my dad. I'm so sorry about what happened to him. Why do you say you're sorry? Huh? Anyways, everyone was here practicing last night. Even your dad? Yes, everyone was here. We finished up around 10 p.m. After that, everyone went off on their own. I was the only one who stayed around here. Why did you do that? I was playing with Regent. Regent? So she was with that beast. That's when the police showed up. When they took me to check things out, Dad was dead. For someone whose father was just murdered, she seems awfully perky. I wish she would tell us more about her dad. That's incredible that you're an animal tamer. If you say so. It has to be really scary. Scary? Why? Huh? Regent isn't scary, he's cute! Ever since Leon died, Regent has been my best friend! Leon? Yes, Leon the Lion! Leon the Lion, Regent and Regina, interesting name choices. Leon died? Oh yes! Actually he was killed! My dad killed him! What? Why did he do that? I'm not sure why he did it. It's tough not to get charmed when she looks at you with those innocent eyes. What about this? What can you tell me? I'm not really good at figuring out hard things. I can't tell if she's trying to manipulate us like that other girl, or if she's... This silk hat is Max's. That's right. It's beautiful, isn't it? I thought of the idea for wearing the hat. Huh? Really? Yep. He took my sketch to the hat shop, and they made a custom hat for him based off the sketch. There is only one of these silk hats in the entire world. Isn't that cool? What about this? Really, she can't understand the picture of the crime scene. It's Max! Where is Max now anyways? You don't know? No. He's been arrested. He was charged with the murder of your father. It's okay. Nick and I will help him. Max isn't the guy, is he? I mean, the criminal? Of course he's not. I worry about so many things right now. Like what? <laughs> okay, that's... weird. Alright! I look so cute in this picture! 
Don't you think I look cute? Don't ya? You sure do! No objections here! So that's what Russell looks like. After practice was over, Dad went right back to his room. His room? Yes! I didn't... It went too far too fast, but I assume the over by the... The area. I didn't know why, but he went off to his room in a hurry. I wonder what happened. The ringmaster's room. It's probably a good idea to check it out for myself. Can we get that again? That door right over there leads to the ringmaster's room. Oh, okay, so it's a different area. Uh, did you meet the police officer? I've already given my heart to another man. So I'm not interested in enrolling in your dating service. I just wanted to know if you knew this person. What does she say about them? This lady's got a whip! She's an animal tamer, huh? Sort of. Two women with whips. Well, it's my cue to shut up and act like a good boy. Maya, you're a spirit channeler? Yep, I'm still training, though. That sounds like fun! I think you should join us at the circus! As a spirit channeler? Yeah, you'd be a big hit! Actually, that could be a really good job for you, Maya. You'd like it here. Wait, is there anything else that opened up? What's on your mind? Regina, what's on your mind? What's the matter? <laughs> I'll tell you, Maya, but just you. Uh... Well, uh, mumble, 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 mumble. What? Really? And then, mumble, 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 mumble. That's incredible. Come on, Nick. There's no reason to pout. Don't worry about me. Regina told me that someone professed her love to her. Professed their love? Not only that, it was Maximilian Galactica. I wonder how many people have stolen one of his hearts anyways. And then, on the exact same day, another person professed their love for her as well. Who was it? Someone named Trilo. Trilo? Apparently he is a tenor who sings in the circus. Regina seems to be quite the hit with men in the circus. Two people in one day! <laughs> okay, that was weird. Let's try the master's room. This is the ringmaster's room? Yes, this room belonged to the victim. Which means this must be where Max met the ringmaster last night. Now that you mention it, that is what he said. I wonder what... Hmm, that's an interesting poster. It's a poster of Max! I want it! Nick, I want it! I want to get out of here. What is this? It's a table for guests with papers scattered on top. Look at this! Max's salar salary is written on this piece of paper. Yikes! What is it? I didn't know that a magician. This salary is incredible! How much? That much? Incredible, huh? You can say that again. This must be the paper they used to negotiate Max's salary. The ringmaster signed and dated it. What's the matter, Nick? Max definitely got a raise, but this document is dated a week ago. He got an enormous raise one week ago. This was the visitor table he used when visitors came to see him. Ew, there's mud caked on the table. Someone with terrible manners must have put their shoes up on the table. Nick, don't even think about it! Interesting. Look at the cute trophies! Just look at all the awards this circus has won. All County Quiz Champions, Ringmasters Association Mini Golf Master, Beer Belly Balloon Bounce Champ, Pet Grooming Grand Prix. The Ringmaster was multi talented in ways I never could have imagined. There's a lot of posters, don't you think? So many posters that they aren't likely to miss one, are they? Hey! You're incorrigible, you know that? 
emblazoned with Max's three famous symbols. Look at all the stars on this poster. This must have been the poster they used to promote public appearances. We should make posters for our law firm. Spine-tingling legal action. Mind-numbing legalese. You will say wow. Or perhaps, hold it, don't miss out on a stunning life or death courtroom thrill ride. With those taglines, our law firm would sink faster than the Titanic. Nick, look at all the photos signed up on the wall. It's like a guided tour of the circus's history. It seems like there were so many happy memories. Maybe we should do this sort of thing up at our office. We can put up pictures of clients who have been found not guilty. What if we had a client who was found guilty? Let's just pretend like they didn't exist. How's that? Nick, now you've got me thinking about losing cases. Why'd you do that? <laughs> All of these frames look the same. They look like thank you cards. It looks like every year the ringmaster made donations to charity to the Robot Clown Research Center. You're kidding, right? They may be a perfectly reputable charity in the field of advanced tomfoolery. This is where the ringmaster applied his makeup. It's quite a collection of understated colors. Shocking pink, for example. This one says it is 100% all natural organic mascara. Sensitive enough for a baby, strong enough for a mime. The ringmaster must have been really concerned about skin care. Well, yeah, that's part of the business. You may not know this, but they call this a tailcoat. And they call this the face of someone who already knew that. A scrap of white paper is sticking out of the coat pocket. Calm down, Maya. You can't just go rummaging through people's coats. You always make me feel like I'm doing something wrong. Why can't we rummage through his coat? We rummaged everywhere else. This is strange. Everything else looks nice, but this desk look old, looks old and cheap. There's a really big photo on the desk. It's a picture of Regina and her father, the ringmaster. He really loved her, didn't he? Regina was well, was lucky to have such a wonderful father. Uh, we don't really know that. She was certainly prominently advertised. Interesting. <laughs> Does she know about Max's degrees? Does she want to see Max's poster? I want that jacket. Actually, I just want that entire book. Please, thank you very much. What about this? What can you tell me? Trillo guy. Hey, Nick, look over there. There's someone over there. Excuse me. That must be him. Hello? Wow, he sure is a quiet one. Excuse me. What? Huh? Me? Yes, you work at the circus, don't you? No, I'm just your everyday average Joe. An average Joe who just happens to hang out at the circus? I don't think so. You look like a tenor. Fess up. Yes, I am. I've got nothing to do with what's going on here. He's lying. Like any regular person would hang around the circus dressed like that. I'm an attorney. My name is Phoenix Wright. I'm a spirit medium. My name is Maya. Well, I just happen to be passing by. I don't suppose you happen to be some kind of carny? I'm not a carny. I'm a performer. Actually, I'm a ventriloquist. Oh, not a tenor. Ventriloquist? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm Benjamin w w Woodman. Your last name is Woodman? Y yes, th th that's right, but... It Everyone c c calls me B Ben. 
I stutter too, so I'm 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 on your side, Ben. Maya would freak me out a little bit too if she suddenly accosted me at my place of business. That's your alias, right? I believe they call it a stage name. Excuse me, Ben. Uh, yes, you mean me? About the murder. I'd like to talk to you about the details, if I may. Really? I'm just a regular, normal guy? I don't know. This guy's so nervous. Nick, cheer up! Try and smile! Would you mind telling us something about Max? Maximilian Galactica. M m m Max? He's not very n nice. Did he just say that Max is not very nice? Uh, my my head hurts. Yikes! I hope he's okay. It sounds like he just popped a gasket. Ben, so you're a ventriloquist? Uh, 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 I'm just a regular guy. You already told us you were a ventriloquist. Yes. Nick, don't yell at him! You can't do that! I can't help it, he's making me nervous! Ben, would you mind showing me some of your skills as a ventriloquist? Well, I... Right now, my... My puppet... He didn't say. Is it broken? Let's show him our badge. Would you mind taking a look at this? I... I guess we won't need you to look at this after all. Doesn't want to see the crying photo. Doesn't want to see Max's hat. Doesn't want to see Max's rays. Doesn't want to see Max's poster. Doesn't want to see Maya. Doesn't want to see Max's picture. Doesn't want to see Regina. Doesn't want to talk about Russell. Doesn't want to talk about himself. Okay, uh... I honestly don't know... What else to... Let's try the closet again. Have you talked to the guy out there? No, I've got an affidavit for most of the performers of the circus. They're certainly a strange bunch of characters. Well, not stranger than you, I suppose. That was cold. I'm sorry, I was just messing around. It looks like Max is the most unpopular guy. Oh, we did that. this momentous occasion, would you care for an organic grape? Just one! Did you get my joke right there? I welched on giving you more than one! What? Okay, first of all, it wasn't funny, and second of all, I think it's, like, racist? Or something? So, no! If it was funny, it is your duty as a human being to laugh! Well, it wasn't, buddy. Sorry. 
People who don't usually laugh are usually last seen in Lansing. Catch my drift? No. <laughs> this is like a Faustian nightmare. It's Faustian about a phoenix. Come on, it was funny! Clowns are always funny in my book. In my book, they're just funny looking. You sure do have great taste in clothes, girly. Look at that garb. You look just like Greta Garbo. Ha ha! Oh, God. I'm going home. No, Nick, you can't! I can excuse a bad joke or two, but the stooge keeps laughing at his own jokes. That's what I object to. Okay, okay, I get it, but you have to admit he is kind of funny. No, I do not have to admit that because he isn't. I'm on your side, Phoenix. Oh god, we have to talk to him. Could you please tell us more about the big berry, very big circus? It's a very big story! You sure you got that kind of time? And the hits just keep on coming. This circus has been in business for 20 years! We all performed under the guidance of Ringmaster Russell Berry! 20 years?! Working in the circus is never easy, especially nowadays. With movies, TV, and bowling, there is just too much competition! But... but I love the circus! I love it too! That's why I've been here for 20 years! We work hard to keep the show running, no one sends in the clowns on us! Heck, he just made a joke! Laugh! Har har. Har har har. The Ringmaster was a real big shot in the circus world. A real class act. Even when there were no customers, Russell would use his own money to pay me. Because he knew that I had a family to care for. He was happy to take care of his employees. I see. And how could anyone do that to such a wonderful man? Mo, wiggity wiggity what? I'm sorry, Mo. Nick was born without a sense of humor. Don't worry about it. How can we fault him? Let's talk about the murder. Let's see. It must have taken place around 10 p.m. last night. After rehearsals were finished, I was tuckered out, so I came back here. After I went to bed, that's when I caught a peek of it. Caught a peek? Of the crime. This guy's the eyewitness. The ringmaster was truly ahead of his time. He would always add new elements to the show. New elements? When you've been a performer for a long time, your act starts getting a bit stale. Now, I realize that even my act can get a little bit long in the tooth. Sometimes my jokes can be a bit old fashioned. But that make believer takes things too far. Make-believer? The magician. The one that thinks he's all high and mighty. He had the gall to say to me, You're one of those funny types, right? What does he mean, one of those? Joke's on him now. On him? He got on everyone's nerves. The day of the murder. Go ahead. Nope, no way. Just forget I said anything. He's still hiding something about Max. You say you saw the crime. Do you mind telling me what you saw? Well, the police told me I can't share my story with others. Don't listen to that, Mo. Don't say a word, pal. I'm just gonna have to let these lips stay zipped. That's not fair. I guess you're right. Maybe I can tell you a few details. Yes, good. But only if you can get old stiff lips here to make with the funny. You mean me? Nick, you can do it. What's the matter? Just getting ready? Okay. Do you know why I, Phoenix Wright, am a great lawyer? Because I'm right all the time. At least his expectations are low. I wouldn't let him quit his day job. Got a guy some slack. It was funnier than Chuckles over here. It wasn't the greatest joke I've heard, but you did try, so I'll tell you what I saw. I'm sorry he's incapable of being funny, Mo. Maya, whose side are you on? Oh good, he will. That night, once I had tucked myself into bed, I heard this amazing noise. It was incredibly loud. It sounded like a giant thump. Once I heard it, I jumped out of bed. 
That's what I saw. Without question, without a doubt, it was that magician. It's someone in his hat and his cloak. That's all I saw, but it just proves how terrible that man actually is! Let's present some things. If he thinks he can kill the ringmaster, it's only just that he should die too. No! Sorry, I crossed the line. But he truly is a disgusting human being. Why do you hate him so much? Let me tell you this one story. The morning before the murder, something terrible happened. Max clonked Ben right over the head as hard as he could. Ben? The ventriloquist with the speech impediment? You should go to the cafeteria and investigate for yourself. Let's just say there's gotta be something interesting there. The very big circus is very big, isn't it? You should always carry a map with you to get around. This is an atlas. Oh, I killed myself. I'm dying here. If only, dear. If only. That's the ringmaster's daughter, Regina. Ever since she was a little girl, she's been watching circus performances. Cuter than a little puppy Maltese, that Regina. If only my Lorena was that cute. Lorena? Lorena's my daughter. She lives with her mother now. Now, I've been friends with Russell since even before the circus began. He was so selfless. He always thought about others before thinking of himself. I'll find a way to return the favor. He took such good care of me. I wish I had thanked him more than I did. Ah, Ben, how's he doing? He's a ventriloquist, isn't he? That's right. Boy, was I surprised when they told me his secret. He's got a second mouth where his belly button should be. Ben wouldn't tell us a single thing about the murder. That's a simple problem to solve. He would won't talk if he doesn't have his puppet. Tree low. Oh no. If Ben doesn't have his ventriloquist puppet, you'll barely get a word out of him. What's the matter? When I see my own nose, I'm reminded of my Italian heritage. It must be because you have one of those Roman noses, Roman all over your face. I didn't cross a line there, did I? You went so far past it, you'll need a map to get back. What do you think about this? Ah, uh, that guy. His name is Ben, right? You don't know him? I don't know. He didn't really catch my eye. He's friends with Trilo, right? You're the ones asking questions around here. Friends with Trilo. Okay then. Ew, this place is gross. This must be because of last night. They didn't have time to clean up dinner because of the murder. That reminds me. What was it Mo said? He said yesterday morning Matt clonked Ben over the head here. He also said there's gotta be something interesting. Nick, what's gotta be interesting? Don't ask. kitchen's over here. Everyone must have taken turns cooking. There's a duty list posted. I wouldn't mind trying my hand at cooking for this many people. 
Maya's killer hamburger. You'd try it, wouldn't you? Nice wants. It looks like they've left it exactly as it was on the night of the murder. They didn't seem too worried about cleaning up dishes, did they? Looking at all these dishes is making me hungry. Let's go get a burger at the snack stand outside. Very steel samurai here. Keep our cafeteria clean! Doesn't seem like they ever read the sign. This is strange. There's nothing on top of his stand. Look here! Max is written on it. It must be his VIP table. Isn't it a bit small to be a VIP table? You can't put a 10 course meal on this. You can still eat hamburgers, right? What's this? A juice bottle? Watch out, Nick! There's broken glass all over the floor! A broken bottle lying in the middle of the floor? There's gotta be something interesting here. Looks like we're gonna have to go back and meet with him. An orange juice bottle. Bulletin board for bulletins. The chair's been knocked over. That's what it looks like. It looks as if someone knocked it over in a struggle or used it for self defense. that the second game would have less moving around. What do you think about this? Anything come to mind? Okay, so not you then. Then I guess. But how are we supposed to talk to him if he doesn't have tree low? Would you mind taking a look at this? How can you not love him? Oh, it's my two sweeties! Welcome to the detention center! Did he just call me his sweetie again? What's on today's agenda? What can I help you with? We've gathered quite a few clues. Wonderfully fabulous! I mean fabulous! That's why we came to meet with you again. Well, what's wrong? Quit making such a scary face. Max, let's make this absolutely fabulous. Baby. He's just trying hard. We heard a lot about you at the circus, Max. Ah, you must mean from the dinosaurs. How were those Jurassic geriatrics? Max, you aren't very popular with the other performers, are you? Yes, 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 sweetie, that is what they call jealousy. Jealousy! They are absolutely jealous of my absolutely fabulous self. People who really understand can see the obvious differences between us. People who really understand? For instance, my sweetie pie. So Regina understands him. I plan on getting married to her. She is truly my sweetie pie princess. Wow, that's so cool. It's already in the works. Oh. That's strange. Regina never said anything about actually marrying this joker. You met with the ringmaster on the night of the murder. Yes, I was with him around 10 p.m. Once I was done with practice. I went to his room right after we finished. They found the ringmaster's body in the plaza in front of the lodging house. Yeah, I heard 
heard about that. He needed to step out for a bit, so I waited in his room for him to return. Huh? Sorry, Max. I have something I must attend to right now. Do you mind waiting for me right here? It's pretty cold outside. Or, no, it's Max. It's pretty cold outside. Where's your coat? Oh, there's the hat, top hat, and cloak right there. It's all right. I'll be right back. It should only take about ten minutes. And then, and I waited for him, but he never came back. Did he go to the plaza where his body was discovered? Possibly. The snow had tapered off a bit, but it was still very cold outside. I have no idea what he went off to do. All right, we need to show you... How does this work? Well, let's go to the profiles first. My sweetie pie! She must be really lonely with me all cooped up in here. She was laughing at rolling around with her tiger. She is my special someone, and I am her special someone. She's 16 and you're 21, dude. That's... you can... dial that way down and chill out. Half plus seven, man. That's 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 just that's just the base rule, and and then you get more rules from there. Sixteen, way too young for you. I was hoping I would say like eighteen or something on him, or eighteen on her, or eighteen for the both of them. Just between you and I, he wasn't a bad guy at all. I can say that for sure. That's the first time I've ever heard you say something nice about someone, Max. He must have been a really nice guy. I can't believe a guy with that ugly mug is going after my sweetie pie princess. Especially after she has eluded my charms for such a long time. A long time? Dude, this is getting grosser. There isn't much you can do about that, right? You haven't ever been truly in love, have you? When you are truly in love with someone, you'd be jealous of their mirror because it traps their image inside. Don't you think that's sweet of him, Nick? Not even a little bit. I'm gonna get back with my sweetie pie, then I'm gonna turn that dumb puppet into a toy glider. I guess you two haven't worked out your differences yet. He's 31?! Oh, God, no, just no, dude. What about this person? Unfortunately, I don't take on apprentices. I mean, just look at the face on this one. It's not what I'd call fabulous. That's the ringmaster. It's a shame what happened. He was going to be like a father to me. Ah, oh, this is my silk hat! It's one of the it's the only one of its kind in the world. It's one of my most prized possessions. This silk hat proves I was somewhere else. Where did they find this, huh, sweetie? They found it at the murder scene. Ah oh, I don't know nothing about nothing. Max is so pathetic when he's like this. He must be really confused. Can I ask what you do with such an exorbitant salary? We've already covered this point. I'm paying off my father's debt. How could he possibly have such a large amount of debt? For example, say you rented a video and perhaps forgot about it for a short period of 10 years. You would have the biggest late fee known to man. It's kind of like that. Wow, now I can't see how you can get that much in debt. Okay. Maximilian Galactica, no matter when you see me, you get shivers, don't you? The silk hat, the cloak, the white roses on my chest. 
You know I had the number of symbols cut to three. Really? You had a few to begin with then? Well, I thought you could never have too many symbols. Sunglasses, beauty mark, soft pillow for the lips, a beard, buck teeth. I gave all sorts of symbols a shot. But if I forgot one when I put on my makeup, everyone would forget who I am. That's awful, especially for a magician. What about this? Fabulous! You'd like me to sign this for you? Alright, let's try the Magatama. Last night, you met with the ringmaster, correct? To negotiate your salary and such. Exactly! We reached an agreement about the salary for my six-month-old contract. That's the truth. The whole truth? What do you mean? You just went to his office to negotiate your new salary. I hate lies and I hate liars even more. What are you insinuating? Do you have any proof I did something other than negotiate my fee last night? Wow, you just got an enormous raise. Th that's... It was on the table in the ringmaster's room. You weren't lying when you said that you received quite a raise. Is there a problem with being well compensated? Not with the compensation. With the date. This is dated a week ago. Max. You finished your contract negotiations a week ago. Fabulous! Alright, I'll tell you the truth. That night, the ringmaster called me to his room. He called you. Why did he do that? Sorry, sweetie. That's private. The ringmaster called him. I wonder if there was some sort of problem. Max, perhaps you could share with me what you two spoke about? Well, not if I don't have to. Isn't this why the ringmaster called you into his room that night? So, it's either the fight with Ben or this thing with wanting to marry his daughter. Supposedly the daughter thing's been going on for a while and the fight with Ben is new, so let's try that. Isn't this why you were called to the ringmaster's room that night? Where did you get that? The cafeteria. But you already knew that, didn't you? Of course! It fell and broke on the floor. He's still hiding something. Max. What is it, my sweetie? You didn't fall and break on the floor. You used this bottle to... Take that! Ben! You nailed him over the head with this bottle, didn't you? And that's why you got called to the ringmaster's room that night. Fabulous! You might as well be a magician! Well, that went well. The truth is, yesterday morning during breakfast we had a run-in. You mean you had a fight with Ben the Ventriloquist? You could put it that way. Why did you fight with him? Ben seems like such a quiet man. We fought about my sweetie pie. You mean Regina? That ill-bred creep told my sweetie pie princess that he was in love with her. Would she put up with that? Ill-bred? Are you talking about the same Ben? Told her he was in love with her? Are you sure this is Ben we're talking about? All I can say is that he made me mad, and I had to tap him on his hard head. That's when the ringmaster called me, and I realized it was my chance. Your chance? That's when I went to his room, and I laid it all out on the table. I asked him to let me marry my sweetie pie. What? The ringmaster told me that it sounds good to me. 
That's why my sweetie pie is my sweetie pie and no one else's. That's not how this works. Since Ben was causing me so much trouble, I realized I had to shut him up. Shut him up? Uh, what do you mean by shut him up? You don't know, do you, my sweeties? Trilo can't say a word, not without Ben. Trilo? The puppet, the ventriloquist puppet. His real name is Trilo Quist. Oh, like Ben Triloquist. Trilo Quist. But a puppet doesn't talk. I know, that's why I hit it. Before the police came and took me away, of course. If that puppet started flopping off at the balsa, I'd be screwed. You hit him? You mean the ventriloquist puppet? You are so smart, sweetie! Uh, where did you hide him? What? Sweetie! You aren't thinking of trying to add him to my defense, are you? Well, Ben does seem awfully lonely without his puppet. Fabulous! That should have taught him a lesson! Okay, I hid Trilo in the ringmaster's room. You don't mind going there and getting Trilo for me, do you, my sweets? No problem, none at all! You know I can't stand to see my sweeties in a jam. Okay, but like, seriously. Ben's not here anymore. It's cold out, he's probably in the tent. What do you think, Nick? Don't be negative, we're making progress. There's no sign of footprints on the scene. There's still a lot of mysteries left to be solved, and now Regina's not here. It looks the same as always, a big mess. He said he hid Trilo somewhere in this room. This is the same as before. Huh, there's something shoved under the bookshelf. This is? That's Trilo, Ben's puppet. I think you're right. We'll give it back to him later. Why do I have to carry this thing? Because you're the one that steals pleasures. Uh, she said she thought he was in the tent, so let's try the cafeteria before we leave. Hey, Ben! Uh, uh, hello? Hello to you! It's awfully cold today, don't you agree? Uh, uh, uh I, 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 I do indeed. Don't you think it's cold, Nick? Tell us what you know about the murder. Uh, 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 I... Do you know anything at all? Well, you've been in the circus for a long time, haven't you, Ben? A about four years. Regina, I d d d d like her too too much. You're thirty-one. Ah, oh, this is so creepy and upsetting. Here's your. Stupid puppet. Ugh. Oh, okay. Are we not even going to talk to him? I thought the whole point is... Who said that? What are you looking at? I'm right here, you blind wench. Oh, good. You're a creepy, creepy guy. And your puppet is an ableist, misogynist, creepy guy. Awesome. Wow. What's your problem anyways? Don't you know how to properly greet something? Or someone? I know how to set it on fire. Ben, is that you, Ben? No, I would never. It was me, down here. 
Yeah, your puppet's just as creepy as you are. That's great. Your Trilo? That's Mr. Quiz to you, sir. Learn some manners before you blurt out my name. Now try speaking to me with some proper respect. Look at me when I'm talking to you, you 8-bit excuse for an attorney. Trilo, we talked about insulting people you promised. He was mocking me. Not being mean to bullies was not included in the deal. I'm sorry, Trilo. Wow, this is creepy. Trilo is still a puppet, right? Yeah, it's a creepy puppet by a creepy guy who gets off on hitting himself, honey. That's, that's just what it is. Tell us what you know about the murder. You talking to me? Don't look at him when you're talking to me. Trilo Twist, you behave, young man. Shut up, Woody. What murder are you talking about? You mean the one where they offed the old man? I guess? No need to make such a fuss about things. The old mutt paid us all peanuts. Trilo, you can't say things like that. I didn't raise you to be that kind of puppet. Don't you have nerve pills or something to take right now? These two are a really odd couple, aren't they, Nick? I feel like I'm watching someone masturbate against my, like, I just don't even want to be in the room. Ben, you're gross. Ramps got clobbered over the head. Let's just get through it quickly. Let me lay it all out for you. The pay sucks, the cloud sucks, and my partner has his hand up my pants. Your partner? You mean Ben? Yeah, the creepy old guy who never finds it in himself to leave me alone. Tell him to back off for me, will ya? He's just another one of the dorks around here. But I'll be fair. In a cesspool of human garbage masquerading as performers, I found my Madonna. Your Madonna. Regina. My lovely Regina. She is stunning, right, Ben? Well, I'm not sure if I would go that far. You'll have to excuse him. He does not understand what he speaks. I, on the other hand, am an appreciator of true beauty, hence why I shall marry her. The ringmaster got knocked upside his cheap head by that flying fraud. Me, Max Galactica. Why do you say that? Trilo, straighten up. Don't accuse people like that. Straighten up. I'm made of wood. Besides, you were there. You know what happened. You were there? If you're that interested, I'll let you in on the facts. You're going to marry Regina? That's right. She doesn't quite realize the joy that awaits her, does she? I think I'm beginning to see why she seemed troubled. I don't care. It's my choice, not hers. She's, we're getting hitched. I know you think that, but... I gave her a special gift. I gave her the wonderful gift of song. You gave her a song? I am a renowned tenor. You'll be happy to know that I've decided to grace you with one of my songs. I want you to touch me. I want you to kiss me. I want you to... The rest is private. Wow. Help. Does that mean you can talk normally now? You must be looking forward to tomorrow, aren't you, Mr. Ambulance Chaser? You know, it's time to get rid of that pesky magician once and for all. Enough jibba jabba. Let's get to court already. Nick, what's going on? He's a witness for tomorrow's trial. Ah. That was so creepy. Okay, let's just leave. Wait, is... What in the world happened with Ben and Trilo? Oh, it's completely obvious, dear. He's creepy. And that's how he excuses it to himself because he pretends it's not him doing the creepy things. It's just the puppet. It's a diffusion of responsibility. Quite a pair of those two. Oh no, now what? I don't know what's happening. Hey, welcome back, 
Nick? That monkey. My badge. That monkey stole it. What? <laughs> Mr. Attorney, that face was so cute. You look so completely dumbfounded. Regina. You, that monkey. Hey, no need to get angry, okay? But my attorney's badge. Don't worry, I'll help you out. Okay, if you say so. By the way, the monkey's name is Money. Money the monkey. His name is Money? The monkey is called Money. Yes. Well, that rich ape just stole my attorney's badge. Do you mind if I get it back? I'll see what I can do. Even if... Even I have money problems. Whenever Money sees something shiny, he takes it back home. That's pretty funny. I guess I'll have to find out where Money disappeared to. I think that's your best bet. You should probably ask Uncle Mo. He might know. You don't know? Well, Money isn't exactly someone I'm on friendly terms with. He's not the kind of animal I work with, even if he does need taming. Oh, I see. Do you mind telling us a bit about Ben? Ben? You mean the guy that is always hanging around with Trilo? What do you mean hanging around? Well, he was there when Trilo told me he was in love with me. Trilo told you he was in love with you. Yes, he did. It's kind of cute, don't you think? He's so smart, and he's such a wonderful singer. I love him. But what about Ben? What about Ben? He's got nothing to do with me loving tree love. Like sand through the hourglass, so are the days of the circus. Regina, you were proposed to, weren't you? Proposed to? No, that won't be for a long time. Really? That's strange, isn't it, Nick? Yeah, Max and Trilo both said otherwise. They said they asked for her hand in marriage. Ah, uh, but Max only talked to the ringmaster about it. I forgot about that. He asked the ringmaster for her hand, not Regina directly. So I guess Trilo hasn't asked her directly yet, either. What? He's going to propose to me? I'm so confused. How about you, Maya? What? Who do you think I should go for? Max or Trilo? Wait, you do realize that Trilo is a puppet. Huh? I don't care that he's a bit stiff. Oh boy. Flee, 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 flee this entire plot line. Run away, run. Get our badge back. Go to the next day. Detective Gumshoe took off already. I bet he and the other cops got lonely and headed back to the precinct. Oh my, if it isn't Mr. Right all the time. It's all right to be wrong every now and again, right? See, joke, it just took a while for the joke to find its audience. So what can I do for you? Do you remember a good joke you wanted to tell me? Pull up a chair, or maybe just pull my finger and let me have it. We're going to get the same sound effect either way, aren't we? How'd you know I put a whoopee cushion on a chair? You really know what it takes to be a clown, don't you? About Regina. Regina is a pure, innocent child. She's such a cutie. She was born and raised in the circus, you know? But that means she doesn't really know much about the world outside the big top. Sounds like Pearly. For her, every child's dream of the circus is her everyday reality. She lives in a dream world. She sees dancing wild animals, men flying in the air, and one very funny clown every day. The funny thing is, all that seems normal to her, because it is her everyday life. I guess that explains why she thinks she can marry a ventriloquist puppet. Don't ask me if her reality is a good thing or a bad thing, though. A clown sees life simply without complications. Have you ever heard of a monkey named Money? Ah, yes, Money! He stole my attorney's badge. 
Well, while money does love shiny objects, it makes sense he'd swipe your badge. Under no circumstances can you chase after him. You don't want to get involved in any monkey business. Money isn't considered a member of Regina's family. And who does he belong to? And I'll be happy to take you to where his owner is staying. Of course, shall we go? This is it. What's wrong, Mr. Wright? I can't breathe. Don't be such a wimp. You only had to climb two flights of stairs. Anyways, this is the place. Acro's room. He's an acrobat. Seems like he's not around today. That's a big pile of junk over in the corner. Now, I don't think it'd be wrong to assume that Phoenix's stuff is over there, too. Just be careful to make sure you've got the right stuff. Dirty. He's got a barbell. Everything he's got is for upper body training. This bed is incredibly well made. It's like a maid made it up. Even the laundry on top of the bed is folded perfectly. Calendar. Whoever's in this room must really love monkeys. Money must be prone to breaking things. There's a really cheap looking knockoff wristwatch. Nick, I found it! Your badge! What's the matter? Did you find something? Yeah, check this out. It's a ring! There's something engraved on it from T to R. Ew. Well, I think it's about time we wrap up our investigation. Do you think we'll win in court tomorrow? Who knows? Even I can't imagine what kind of testimony will come out tomorrow. I'm guessing Mo will be a witness in court. Mo and maybe the puppet. Don't worry, Nick. No matter what, we've still got a magician on our side. That's good, because we might need some magic tomorrow. Ah! Ah! anything to do with any of them now, but at least, at least the 21-year-old was like, I mean, he's, it's, he's still way too old for her, and so it's like, dude, what the fuck, but I mean, and this is the faintest possible praise I could give, at least he... Apparently, just told her he was in love and then came clean and told her father and possibly was going to have a conversation about how to handle the situation and wait for an appropriate age at which to pursue the matter, maybe? As opposed to this thing with the even older, the 31-year-old guy giving her a sexually explicit poem saying what he wants her to do to him and getting a Cracker Jack box ring to give her. Creepy, sketchy, call the cops, call Gumshoe, lock this guy up. Scary. Anyway, so and it especially creeps me out because why would they not just make her 18? At least 21 and 18 would have been 
to my mind, way more reasonable and we wouldn't have had to feel like our client is a creep. Um, so that that's frustrating to me because why not just make her 18? Or make him younger, make him 18. I would buy him as an 18 year old. He he certainly acts like an 18 year old. 16 and 18 would, would be fine too. Um, just, ah, anyway. Um, wow, that was really long. I'm so sorry. Um, I guess we're past, <laughs> we're, we're well past uh, sections being an hour now. I, I, that used to be a thing and now I guess it's not. And I really don't know how to divide them up because there's not really a good spot where it's like, oh, we've hit a halfway mark between um, in the middle of the day. Um, I have no idea who did it, but considering that we usually don't meet the murderer in the first act, I'm going to assume it's the unseen acrobat. And I'm going to assume that he did something to let himself go up from the murder scene up to his room without leaving any um, footprints. It's kind of wild to me that literally the entire case is going to hinge on the fact that somebody wore Max's hat and quote unquote flew off without leaving footprints as if as if flying were a thing and not a carefully constructed illusion for the magic show like that's just <laughs> okay whatever what are you gonna do um so yeah that's 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 my guess is that it was the acrobat and that he somehow pulled himself up into the top room what's really weird is that the clown apparently looked out the window saw his dead employer slumped over saw a guy who sort of looked like um what's his face max And then just stopped watching? Maybe he was rushing to phone the cops or something. It's just weird. So, but okay. Yeah, that's 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 my guess. So, uh, so once again, this is Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney. My name is Anna Mardell, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.